This is part one on converting your website from HTTP to HTTPS or converting from a non-secure to a secure website. Why would you want to do this? Well, the main reason is simple that when you convert to a secure site it adds an extra layer of encryption to your website. That makes it much more difficult for anyone that would want to put some sort of malicious code on your website or malware and such. So it is a very good thing to do. It also builds confidence in your website. If you have any patrons that are coming to your site and you're selling something, it gives them confidence that, that your site is secure. Now, how do you convert your website from non-secure to secure? Well, that can be achieved by getting an SSL certificate. And again, I'm trying to keep this very simple here. What you simply can do is go to your web host and they will be more than happy to show you the certificates they have. Most of the web hosts now carry SSL certificates. You may want to ask about the different ones. There are some differences. Major businesses uh, need that extra uh, in layer of encryption there and some of these certificates can be quite complicated and cost well over a thousand dollars a year. If you're a small business just starting up they have other choices for encryption that uh, may start out anywhere from as low as maybe $25 to $50 a year. So there's some choices to be made here. Just call your web host and just ask them about the different choices for SSL certificates and um, maybe explain some of the differences with them. Now something that you can do on your own is change the links on your website. You have two different types of links. Uh, external or in other words the links that go from your website to another website or the internal links those are the links that simply link to another web page on your uh, website itself. Now what you need to do is for both of these simply uh, you, you just don't need to have the HTTP any longer in front of the URL here so or the uh, website I should say. So you just want to make sure it's just simplified your internal ones just put the page right here and you should be ready to go. Something else that is very important is making your HT access file. Now the reason for this is that you have your HTTP site or non-secure site you will be going to HTTPS. Well the search engines see these as two different pages and there can be a number of problems with this. So uh, first of all if you have your web page and it stays on HTTP and you have another one out there it's HTTPS Google may start thinking or some of the search engines may start thinking that you have uh, repetitive content out there and they don't like to see that so what you need to do is uh, make some 301 redirects and that is a permanent redirect that's basically telling the search engine hey this page that I have that was HTTP, it's not ever going to be there any longer. It is now going to go over to HTTPS. So what you want to do for uh, each page in your uh, website, you need to make a 301 redirect. This is a very basic one here that I'm showing you where you have the old web page here which was HTTP and how it's now linked over to the HTTPS. Now again this code can be uh, much more complicated and there's other things that need to do. You might need to talk to your webmaster about this on your website but again a very important thing to do is to make sure you have your 301 redirects. Well that about does it for this uh, part one here. Part two I will discuss more about HTTP to HTTPS and how to track rankings with Google.